Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Tiny MCE self-hosted within your app, and optionally loading premium plugins from the cloud. All right, let's get started. For this video, we're going to follow an article in the Tiny MCE docs on how to load Tiny MCE from a zip file. So the first thing we need to do is download Tiny MCE. You can head over to tiny.cloud/getTiny and click on the blue Download Tiny MCE SDK button. It'll download a zip file to your computer, which you can extract and then drag the tiny MCE folder into wherever you store your app's JavaScript files. For this video, I'm working with just an empty index.html file, so I'll copy the whole JS directory. Copy the sample given in the article into your HTML file, or just copy the script source and the tiny MCE init function and apply it to whatever element you want to run tiny MCE on. In this case, I have an empty file, so I'm going to copy all of the HTML. Now, you want to take the script source tag and point it to the tinymce min.js file that you added to your app. So in this case, it's js slash tinymce slash tinymce min.js. Hit save, and it should all work. Here you've got the basic tinymce configuration. If that's all you want, you can stop here. However, if you want to take advantage of any of tinymce's premium features, like advanced code editor, clean copy and paste from Word, compliance features like accessibility checker or link checker, you'll need to load the premium plugins from the tiny MCE cloud. Of course, if you absolutely need to self-host the premium plugins, that is possible. You just need to get in touch with our sales team. The first thing to do is to sign up for a tiny MCE cloud account. So head over to tiny.cloud and click the get started button. You'll be signed up for our free plan with a 14 day free trial of tiny MCE premium features. Enter your email address and choose a password and fill in some details about your project. Now go verify your email address. And you should be able to go to your dashboard and see your API key here. You'll need this API key when you add the TinyMCE cloud plugins to your app. So now we'll switch over to this blog post on adding TinyMCE cloud plugins to your app. You can read the whole article, but if you scroll down to the section that includes the snippet for loading plugins from the cloud, you can just copy this snippet right here where it says cdn.tiny.cloud slash one slash your API key tinymce plugins min.js. Copy that, put it into your app right under where you included tinymce self-hosted and replace your API key with the API key on your account screen. Great, so now TinyMCE is able to load premium plugins from the cloud. If you go back to the article, there's a sample plugins list for the config here, which you can copy into the app and then add and remove plugins as you see fit. Okay, so we can go back to our app, reload it, and it has all of the premium plugins that we just added loading from the TinyMCE cloud now. You can see things like TinyMCE spell checker, enhanced media embed, accessibility checker, advanced code editor, and all the other plugins we just added. So you might be wondering, why would I self-host TinyMCE and load the premium plugins from the cloud? Well, there's a few scenarios where this might make sense. For example, you might already have TinyMCE self-hosted within your app, and maybe you want to give the premium plugins a try before committing to a plan. Likewise, you may also have TinyMCE self-hosted within your app, and rather than download and maintain all the plugins locally, you can rely on TinyMCE's cloud service to make sure that they're always up to date. Okay, so what comes next? Check out our blog for tips on TinyMCE and rich text editing, and also check out our YouTube channel for more videos to help you get the most out of your rich text editor. Good luck.